it cracked. The only issue is this piece. I totally forgot about this. Okay, so I was mistaken about the screws. Uh, as per usual, these were all screwed up. So. All right, so it's Tuesday. Um, I am gonna try to get some of this wood cut up. It's the right size to get in here. Um, like I said, hopefully it'll be somewhat of a quick job just because it's just a couple pieces of wood, um, but we will find out. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting set up here, get the saw out and, um, you know, get the measuring tape, start measuring out exactly the length that I'm going to need and go ahead and work on getting this stuff in there. Um, once I have the two pieces cut to the right size, um, then I can go ahead and start chopping up the, uh, two by four and connecting that. And then once all that's done and everything fits in there, um, I can figure out how the hell I'm attaching these hinges to make this actually function properly. Okay, so I got this at least mostly cut. It's still kind of, there's a little bit issue going up and down, so I might take off a little bit more. Like right here, you can see it's kind of rubbing on there. Um, this side seems like it should be good. Although it's in the shadow there, so you can't really see it that well. Um, I have these, um, there's two in a pack and I got two packs, so I figure I'll probably put like three going along here. Um, hopefully that should be good. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where it has to be positioned in terms of, you know, like front to back to be able to, you know, actually use the hinge and not end up getting stuck. Cause as you can see, wood kind of fits right under here. I don't think I wanted to go under there. I don't think it would be, once this is actually all hooked up, I don't think it actually, um, will go up and down if it's like underneath something like that. Um, this sign has a little bit of a gap over there, it's pretty tight, so um, I want it to be kind of kind of in front of it, so that way it just kind of sits, you know, at a right angle and attaches. Um, so I think before, well, I might take off one little bit over there um, that's making it kind of be stuck, and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach these before I do anything else, so that way, I know the exact position this is going to be in so I can accurately measure for the piece that's going to go here and then when I'm ready to attach the 2x4s I can just take them off the hinges, attach the 2x4s and then put them right back on the hinges. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take off that last little bit over there, hopefully then it's nice and smooth going up and down and put these on. Okay, so that one's good, that one's good. This one, when I lifted it all the way up, it cracked all this down here. I think just because it's so low along this wood here. Um, and it was right towards the edge, so there wasn't a lot of wood between the screw and the edge. Um, but it's still, you know, all holding on there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure for the next piece and um, get that going, and then we'll see what happens when they're all, you know, when it's trying to lift up. You know both pieces of wood plus the two by fours if it all holds or if it has issues and i'll need to get you know bigger um hinges um all right so i'm gonna do that measurement and get it going okay so here are the two boards along with the three <clears throat> two by fours i'm gonna use to connect them all um so i measured over here as well as the on the other side where the four by fours end which is actually three and a half inches because that's how wood is made for some reason um, so I'm going to put a piece basically starting right here, you know, over there. Um, same thing on the other side. I'm going to put one um, right up against where those 4x4s four four are. And this one's going to go right in the middle. Um, I haven't figured out how exactly I'm connecting them because I'm not going to screw in this way. Um, unless I know for a fact that the screw will go through this attaching here and not go through. Um, but it makes a lot more sense to go the other way because this is a thinner piece of wood than this. Um, so I can just go right through the top and even if it gets halfway in there, it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't poke through and I stab myself in the hand while I'm trying to get stuff or anything, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to figure out what size screw I should be using here, um, grab that, and then figure out exactly how I'm going to be connecting it. Okay, so it's all connected together. I ended up putting the screws on the other side. I got two inch screws. Um, so they were long enough to connect everything, but not so long that it's poking out here, obviously. Um, so now I need to attach the hinges to the wall again. Uh, whereas I have the screws under there. Um, forgot to get those out. Um, and then I will test to see, now that it's, you know, more than double the weight, because there before it was just that one piece, now it's this piece and this piece and the 2x4s 
I'll see how it does. Like I said, if it ends it up ends up screwing up the walls like it did on that middle one, then I will uh, just get bigger hinges. They had some big ones there at Lowe's, but I was hoping to get away with these little ones because I think they look nicer for you know like an indoor kind of situation. The other ones look more like outdoor. All right, let me attach it and see what happens. Okay, so I attached them all. Obviously that one looks like shit. This one fell out entirely. I'm probably gonna replace at least that middle one. Um, but the other two seem to do fine. The only issue is this piece. I totally forgot about this middle piece that I added here. And it was in here before, fit. Um, it actually ends up being exactly lined up, which isn't really an accident because I put them both exactly in the middle of you know the length of this. Um, so it was in there um, up against it. And now um, that I lifted it up and went to put it back down, it's stuck. So I'm going to take out all these screws again um, and go ahead and somehow try to carefully um, trim down this piece here without destroying everything. Um, yeah, I might have to actually just take this whole piece off here to make sure I don't end up damaging this. Alright, well, almost there. <laughs> almost. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm definitely going to replace at least that one. I might replace all the hinges just because I feel like over time it's going to wear on these. Um, it said that they each hinge was good for up to 5 pounds, so I figured, you know, 15 pounds I've had three of them on here. Um, but I wasn't taking into account that they're going to be right up on the edge, whereas the larger hinges will probably be attaching, you know, somewhere like up here rather than right along the edge of the wood. Um, so I think that'll work out a lot better. Um, so yeah, next time that I am over at Lowe's, I'll pick up those. But in the meantime, I gotta do something about this so it can actually lay flat and actually be like a functional seat in here. Okay, so I trimmed up the piece under here a little bit. Um, I connected the two at the end. I didn't even bother connecting that because it's just so damaged at that point that it doesn't do anything. Um, just to show you, so I have it up here. Okay, so you can see the three two by fours there. So I put four screws in each. Um, two definitely didn't seem good enough. The middle seemed too wobbly. I did the ends at first, so I put the uh, other screws in there as well. And now coming down, so now you can see it just misses hitting this in there all nice and secure and I can sit on it and it uh it all seems fine I got my whole body weight on here right now and I don't see any issues with it so I'm pretty excited about that um, boom so that project is essentially done other than just switching out the hinges um, and that'll be an easy job. I don't have to take the board out or anything for that. Just pop those off, pop, pop new ones on, and boom, done. Um, so yeah, the uh, other boards are supposed to come in sometime this week to finish up the walls. Um, unfortunately, because of my work schedule this week, there's, I'm not going to probably be able to pick them up until Sunday. Because um, I'm going to be busy all day Saturday as well. So um, it's looking like this is probably the... The biggest thing I'm going to be doing this week for this video is completing this and then Sunday just picking up the wood and seeing what I can get done, uh, but probably not a whole lot. Um, so yeah, so there's the first seat. I mean, even with just the two hinges and there being smaller hinges, uh, it seems like it's really secure in there. Um, yeah, seems all good. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up everything out here, and uh, that's it for tonight. Alright, it is Sunday. So like I said, I think and whenever I was recording last, um, I didn't have high expectations for getting anything done yesterday. Um, so today I went and I picked up all that wood, um, came in. Um, the people that I picked it up from were just like, what is in this box? <laughs> um, so I haven't taken it out yet or anything, but... Um, I also picked up 
Um, the larger hinges are actually right over there. For over here, I got two packs of three, so I have enough for here, and then whenever I do this side, um, I know that I'll have like a matching set. I don't have to worry about ordering my line or anything. Um, so yeah, uh, it, the weather said it wasn't supposed to rain today, and then it did start raining, and now it stopped raining, but it's still really cloudy. Um, so I'm going to see what I can get done here. I also have other stuff to get done today as well. Um, so I'm definitely going to switch out these hinges. That'll be a quick, easy job. Um, and then, like I said, we'll see how far we get. But first, I need to clean up all this disaster that's been building up in my front seat zone. Um, so I'm going to take care of that and then get those hinges switched out. And then we'll see what the weather's looking like and see if I can work on some more of the wall stuff here since I got this in finally. Okay, so here's that first one. I uh, replaced the middle one first since that was the one that was most screwed up. Um, they came with um, basically each uh, hinge here. This supposed to have five kind of normal size screws. And then there's one giant ass screw. Um, and I don't want to use this because if I put it going down, it'll be sticking out of the bottom by a lot. And if I go through that way, um, I don't know for sure, but it might end up hitting the actual van itself and possibly making a hole. Um, so I thought about putting in the, all five, but then I was like, well, maybe I'll just put in four. Um, that way it's all even. Um, I might end up putting in, I'm not sure what length screws these are, but I might have maybe one of my screws I already have is a similar size and I could put it in there and then it'll just be five black screws or one silver screw but whatever um so yeah so i'm gonna check it out and see if i have something the same size that would actually fit in there but also have to have a head big enough that doesn't you know just go like through here um and then uh maybe i'll end up putting those in there all right so we've got two in there um uh, so i put all the black ones on top since those are more likely to be seen than the ones on the bottom um, and then I put one of those uh, quarter inch screws, um, number eight size, in there. Um, it is a rounded one, so it kind of sticks up a little bit here, but I don't think that's going to matter at all because all that's going on top of here is the uh, foam mattress kind of stuff, so it's not going to do anything that tiny little bit there. Um, and it's all, you know, like smooth. Or, or anything like that so so yeah so those two are in uh, I just took off this one and now I'm gonna put on that last new hinge and this will be all set over here okay so I was mistaken about the screws um, there are three of these big giant ones um, but apparently they give you the option whether you want to use those or not because I only put in two in there so far so I have four more to go and I have one two three four and another two that I can use on those. So I'm going to take out the um, these ones I put in there and put those in so that way it's all uniform and nice looking even though it's not going to be visible once everything is actually set up in here but might as well just use these since they're there. Um, Alright so I'm going to get these last screws in there and replace those and this will be all set here. I can't remember if I showed that it's all done but it's all done. Um, I replaced all those silver ones um, and it seems to work a okay just fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do some cooking and stuff like that and then after I have time and it doesn't rain, I'll come back out here and work on measuring and chopping those up and little by little filling in all that stuff. Okay, so here we are. Uh, here is the box. For some reason they didn't seal the one end. They just had like plastic and stuff in here. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, just looking at them, these aren't the 20 I would have picked out. You can see some of them are kind of chipped, curved, and stuff. But I think overall this one looks really funky. The whole side there is like angled. Uh, but I'm going to make it work. Uh, so I'm going to start doing some measuring and take these out of here. And let's see here. some reason they look kind of thin compared to those but yeah holding up here is the right size all right so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and measure first for that spot over there to finish that part 
and then um, get that piece in and just keep working my way up until I get to the you know awkward spot where I have to make like half a piece and I'll stop there and start working my way down until I get to the awkward spot and then you know start filling in spots going on there, there, at the sides, all that fun stuff. Um, so I'll see how far I can get today before I either get too tired or it gets dark or whatever the hell happens. And uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, so here is this portion. Um, I don't think I can fit another one in there. I didn't measure it, but just looking at it, um, I can't fit another whole one in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working up here. Um, I'm sure it's gonna end up being weird because of that piece how it has that edge there, so we're probably gonna be all weird and uneven and crap, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, and I also have to work around this stuff here. Um, the yellow one just goes behind completely because it's running there, um, whereas this one, uh, the USB thingy. Oh, the fan's plug in, that's right. Um, so I'm going to have to, at some point, do the same kind of thing that I did over here with that USB. Um, yeah, I think I am going to put it on this piece instead of putting it over here. I feel like that'd be kind of getting a little bit crammed in there next to that. Um, so I'll just put it over here, just like the other one is. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm going to go ahead and just start working my way through here. Um... I'm just trying to think if we have to do anything different because the other one, the wire was going up and this one's coming down. But I think I'm good to just cover all this up. I think that's okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna work on covering this up and then once I have all that done up to the point where I can't fit any more full pieces, I'll grab the insulation and stuff it in here and see what I can stuff, you know, up here. And then we'll work on doing all the tricky stuff, um, you know, the long pieces that are shorter and then little side pieces and then the hardest part is dealing with this thing okay so um i have that piece all in there um this piece so because of this not being even um i have to try to make a decision here i can either trim off a little bit more and get it up flush with this but then it will be awkwardly you know screwed up here or i can leave it here and then find something that can fit in here and put it in there. Um, but I think I'm going to go with that because if I do that, everything from here down will be easier. If, whereas if I move that up, every piece is going to be kind of a pain in the ass and it's going to end up looking weird. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and that's kind of just stuck in there right now. I don't have any screws in obviously, but it's just holding there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find anything that will fit in there um, and you know, cut it down to whatever it needs to be. And then I'll work on getting all the screws in for the different things. Okay, so here is this piece um, that I have for this cut. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this in here now without hopefully splitting this. Um, it's a pretty thin piece, so hopefully I can get it to be screwed in there without the whole thing being destroyed. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, there it is. Um, seems like it worked out pretty well. Um, and now these are nice and even from what I can tell. Uh, so hopefully it should be easier putting them going down here now. Um, obviously these edges are all going to be somewhat of a pain in the ass. Especially getting down to this weird shit. Um, this one's going to be really awkward. I'm going to have to like pin that over there or something. Um, but yeah, um, so I decided to, I think in the other video I said that I was going to do the kind of alternating lengths of wood up here. But the only spot I really could have done it was this top one. Um, after that, it's just, it barely hits that piece of wood or doesn't hit it at all, um, you know, going from this length over. Um, so I decided, why bother doing it on just one of them? And then there's a random one at the top that, you know, the separation line is over here. And then everything else going down is on this side. So I decided I'll just make everything over here. Um, so one wall, we'll have it this way. And this one will have, you know, the bouncing back and forth kind of thing. Um, and then over there, I'm going to do the, uh, you know, the staggering or whatever it's called too. Um, Alright, so I am going to go ahead and get the next, I think this is kind of like, out. Maybe it's just because of that weird stuff. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this next one cut and put that in and then I'll work on this next piece over here. Okay, so that section there is done. Um, so all that's left for this wall is the uh, partial pieces that are going to go across the top and bottom and then the pieces that are going to go on the sides. Um, I'm going to grab that insulation and work on stuffing that into you know, down there and up into here. Uh, to get that stuff taken care of wherever I can. Uh, and then I might end up just working on this since that's going to be easy. Because um, most of us have been banging out pretty quickly here today. Um, the only tough thoughts have really been about these edges and that awkward pain in the ass thing there. Um, but yeah, this I can probably actually finish up pretty quickly because there's nothing to go around. It's just, you know, put a piece here, put a piece here, put a piece there, there. Um, so I might just go ahead and get that all filled in, put the insulation in, all that stuff, and that way that whole section will be done. And then um, if I still have some time to work with, then I can start working with these more pain in the ass stuff that's going to take a little bit more time, you know, on each individual piece. Okay, so that first piece is in there. Uh, as per usual, these were all screwed up, so now there's a gap there, so I'm going to fill that in. I also still haven't filled in that gap down there, so I'm going to go ahead find pieces for both of those and get that taken care of. Um, that one's pretty small. I might end up just having to use glue. I don't think the screw's really gonna work for that. Um, so I'm gonna take care of that before I keep moving on. And then, uh, yeah, once I have those gap filled in, hopefully then everything now will be kind of straightened out since I uh, angled this part you know, down instead of putting it up. Um, so hopefully that one lines up with it, and then they just all line up from there. But we'll find out. Okay, so that one I have filled in there, and then down here, also filled in that gap. Um, so now I'm going to get back to working on this, and I'm going to make the next piece to uh, fit in right there. Okay, so I don't remember I, I filmed getting that piece in there too, but that's all in there now. Um, so I am going to work on stuffing the insulation here and here, like I said before. And now I also need to work on stuffing in here, because once I put the next piece up, I'm not gonna have access to this gap. Um, so yeah, I have my insulation there, and I'm already getting stuff in there. Okay, so this is almost there. Uh, I just want to show you basically what I've been doing. Um, so rather than tearing off the pieces and pushing them down all the way, and then adding more and pushing it all the way down, basically I just been pushing them in there, and then just loading them drop to wherever they drop. And as I add more, they just get pushed down. And then once I get close to full, I start pushing it. So that way I'm not taking you know like my whole arm and jamming it down there and getting like ripped up by the edge of the wood or anything um, so that's just what I've been doing all right so those spots are all filled up I didn't do um, this zone because it'll just end up falling um, but I have that all stuffed down there up there let me get back to doing some wood up here all right so that next row is in there I do a little bit of weird cutting there put that little notch under there um, so the next one's just facing off right here I'm going to fit another board, and I'm probably going to end up needing to have strips that are pretty thin going across the top here. You can see, I'm basically going to be you know, that size right there. Um, but no other way really working on that, so um, yeah, I will uh, work on getting the last two full pieces in there, and then we'll take it from there. I don't know, I might kind of wrap up the day there then with that easy stuff, and then uh, next weekend or whenever do the uh, weird stuff over here and the strips along the top there but we'll see all right so that section is done other than like I said the pieces that have to go up there um, I think I am gonna work on wrapping it up here getting everything cleaned up and organized um, figure out how I'm gonna fit the wood in here spin around somewhere um, and then like I said either maybe sometime this week or definitely next weekend I'll work on finishing up both of these and then the walls will be essentially done as far as the major parts I do still need to deal with you know like this stuff here um, going up top with all the insulation in there I don't want that falling out um, you know, all this stuff the doors um, but as far as you know the major walls in here will be done um, all right see so yeah, I'm gonna clean up and that is it for this week's video I guess Oh, 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 oh,